Good morning everyone, it's Yvonne here from the Aussie Goddess to do your What's Cracking reading. Okay, firstly thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. Um, I want to say a big thank you for those who also trusted me to do your, your readings. You know, the most important thing for me in as far as reading for other people is when people come back. Um, and I've started having people back in the third year. And I think that's really incredible. So thank you for trusting me with that. Um, I am at Goulburn this Sunday, if you're in the area. I will be in Brisbane on the 11th of May. Um, I will be in Newcastle at Merriweather on the 20th of June. If you would like personal readings, uh, Zooms, whatever, you can uh, go to my webpage at uh, The Aussie Goddess or my Facebook page at The Aussie Go Goddess and you can book readings at either space. Um, if it's life coaching you're after, I've had a little bit of inquiry about life coaching. I do have a life coaching channel. Um, and the link is below if you want to go over and check what life coaching is about. But um, I have some incredible testimonials. So I'll try and put some of those up for you if you are interested. Um, Super chat went exceptionally well yesterday. I feel like it's starting to um, sort of be on everybody's plate. So I know I'm away for the next couple of weeks. But for me, the readings, everything is business as usual. I watched another reader this morning talk about how this is our happy place. Um, many of us have never been really accepted in our day-to-day -day lives. We do sort of put ourselves around people who are probably not always the best people to surround yourself with. Um, but when you get into this forum, you're amongst the collective. The people who are in this energy are all connected at a very different level. So I know I say thank you every time and I'm not really sure that you really understand how much that means to me, but it's not work for me. As much as it supports my lifestyle and spirit is always so good to me, um, this is something I do because I love to do it. No other reason. All right, we're going to use the Tower of the Golden Wheel this morning. I have had a couple of cards that jump out to me that tell me some sort of offer is coming in. Um, something that's going to be life changing for you. Um, so we'll see where that's going here in terms of the reading. Whew. All right, Three of Swords coming through. The Three of Swords for me is probably the most uh, difficult card in the deck to find positive reasons for. <laughs> about the most positive thing I can find about the Three of Swords is sometimes it is in your history, but you still carry. Spirit is talking about lagging. <laughs> we still sometimes carry pain with us from a long time ago. Some of us still carry pain about childhood. Um, um, you know, I talk to people a lot who've got childhood trauma um, and certainly into adolescence where they're still dealing with the pain of... Um, all sorts of things, let's say. So when the Three of Swords comes around, I feel it's really important to say that for some of you here, you may still have that energy of hurt and pain that perhaps stops you from taking risks in your life. So if you've had heartbreak, for example, sometimes that will stop you moving forward because you're scared of taking the risk of being hurt again. But like I always say to people, if you don't take the risk, you're never going to find love. So it's sort of like this energy of it coming through. I feel like some of you are making some sort of decision here, either to clear the energy, work on your heart space, or get out there and take a risk. It's all about risk. And as human beings, we tend to sort of look at all our past and measure everything up in our previous baggage. Every day's a new day, every moment's a new moment. There's some sort of decision you've got to make here around somebody. Um, and it could be, especially with the Two of Swords, that whatever this decision is, that it means you've either got to cut something free or you've got to have a conversation that's very, very difficult for you. Whatever this is here, and in the traditional tarot, we know that the person is blindfolded. Um, I have a feeling here. Yeah, there's no blindfold. Oop, I've got a drip of sweat just went right down the back there. Ew! creepy feeling all right so we have the two of swords saying thinking something has got to be cut out here 
The knight, uh, sorry, the king of swords is here. So you could be dealing with the Libra Gemini Aquarius, but I actually feel like this is your energy. This is you taking a stand, standing up. Now, if you're dealing in a legal situation at the moment and you haven't got something, this could mean going for some sort of appeal here um, or standing your ground. I feel that, you know, for some of you here, you may be going back to a courtroom or back to a situation to clear up some energy there's definitely a choice here all right then we have the magician now this is really nice energy because what the universe is saying to you here as much as you don't trust yourself as much as you don't want to get hurt you need to understand you have everything you need to do what you need to do so every moment of the day every day every every single moment you have everything you need you just somehow or another lacking some sort of confidence here or lacking some sort of self-esteem but you have everything when you see the magician and as long as you know you have everything then you can manifest but if you fear things or you know you or, or you think you don't have what it takes then obviously this makes a lot of difference in terms of the energy but when I see the magician for me that's go for it go for it have fun there's a brand new start around the corner for you here. And I feel like for some of you, this is about love. This is taking a risk in love. Now, for some of you here, that's beautiful, really nice energy. I know it starts off pretty sort of sad here with this three of swords, but I feel like this decision you're making here is going to be life changing. And I feel like for some of you here, it's taking a risk on new love. All right. Ah, there's the reading. I always say, you know, I don't really need to do any more now. I've had the Nine of Cups here. Um, the Nine of Cups is about dreams coming true. It's about wishes coming true. There is something here that's about to fall in your lap that's going to challenge you to challenge everything about past lives, past loves. There is something really beautiful about this card. It's like it's here to show you that perhaps you've been seeing things in a way that hasn't been serving you. Perhaps you've been looking at things through the eyes of fear. Something is about to break through here and bring you a lot of happiness. All right, so we have temperance coming through. Beautiful. Eight of Cups. And the, the world card, nice. Okay, so for you people who keep talking about closing out a cycle, I feel like for many of you, this is about to sort of take place. There seems to be this energy of you having a really good understanding of this now. How your hurts and pains have held you back. This is limited thinking. Um, and I was just listening to another reader talking about this. You know, how we get trapped in this sort of way of thinking that really isn't what the world is. Um, a good example for that is racism. Racism is something that is perpetuated by human society to keep you living in fear. Fear of another race. This is only one example. But some people are so fearful of that race that even to see a person from that race scares them. Is there a truth in it? It's an illusion. It's an illusion. It creates hate. It cre creates a divide. It creates fear. And it creates the divide, which is what people and governments often want to keep people apart. But we're all human beings. Just because we're born, in, born into another place in the world doesn't make us different. And that is the illusion that you are in living in this world until you realize it's only an illusion. So how many other illusions have you built around yourself? That all men are no good, that all women are bitches, that, what, what is that? All people on unemployment benefits are bludgers, all illusions. Ask yourself when you come across any sort of illusion, how does that serve me? How do I find that that betters my life in any way, shape or form? And if you can find a reason for how it makes your life better, then stick with the illusion. 
because actually breaking down the illusions is what we're here to do. We're here to break down the 3D world and that is what you're doing here. You're walking away from things that no longer serve you. You're starting to understand how these limiting beliefs have held you back. You're understanding here how to bring yourself into balance. And because of this energy, you're closing off something to bring in something new that's beautiful and perfect for you. Beautiful, beautiful energy. All right, so we have the devil card. This is it. Limiting beliefs. We have the lover's card coming through with the four of cups. Now, this flipped out on me while I was doing the shuffle. I'm feeling with this four of cups this morning, it's like past energy of being dissatisfied with things, not wanting to take a risk, putting too many limitations on yourself, not being open to what the universe can offer you. This is surrounding yourself with things that make you feel safe. Surrounding yourself with safe things, whether you've outgrown them, whether they no longer serve you, whether they are not part of your journey, because you feel safe. This is the job you hate. This is the relationship that it just doesn't work for you anymore. These are the people you have around you who make you feel like crap at the end of a day. This is all of that here. Your dissatisfaction is really evident. And the universe is saying here, you need to close all that down now. You need to move forward. What are you putting up with in your life that does not serve you as a human being, that does not serve to grow you as a person, that does not love you in a way that you deserve to be loved, that doesn't line your pockets every week because you're so happy to pick up your pay packet because you love going to that job every week. This is the Four of Cups energy. And this is the Eight of Cups. Deciding here you're going to move away. Now, I always do this thing where I think, you know, the Four of Cups doubled is the Eight of Cups. To me, that's just total dissatisfaction. This is about closing everything down that does not serve you and walking away. And by doing that, you're bringing in this beautiful energy of temperance. You're saying goodbye to all these limitations, all these things that have held you back here in your ego. And you're making a choice to move forward. And I feel like for a lot of you, this is new love. Wow, we have the temper at the tower here as well. So one, two, three, four, five major arcanas here. The tower is exactly about that. Look at this, four of pentacles. The tower is about breaking down those old beliefs, letting go of things that don't serve you, completely leveling everything out and starting again. And you can do that. You can do that. It's not the hardest thing to do. You have the magician there. So you have everything you need to do what you need to do here. But first off, you have to release what is holding you back. This energy that you hold within your ego, within yourself, is no longer serving you here. You are coming to the brand new world. This new world is going to show you that none of these beliefs will serve you anymore. Okay. Okay. There is communication here. There is communication here that is going to help you understand. And you know, for many of you, this will be an epiphany moment. This will be that moment when the penny drops, when the other shoe drops. It'll be that moment when you go, oh my goodness, what have I been doing up until now? I haven't achieved what I want to achieve. I haven't found the love I wanted to find because you've been living in this sheltered energy here refusing offers refusing to move being just accepting what's around you not wanting to try new things not having the courage to face your fears but living safe and secure something is about to change here i feel like for a lot of you here this is about letting go of past hurts and pains there's a decision here to move forward, quite possibly with an air sign. But whoever this person is, whether this is you or somebody else, some sort of decision has to be made. Because there is an energy here of you having everything you need and not fearing. Trust yourself, I want to say. You know, if you go into something and you think, well, maybe this isn't the best thing for me. Well, give it a go anyway. Give it a go anyway. What's the difference? What's the difference? If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Chalk one up to experience. This is doing what you need to do when you need to do it. There is a brand new start coming through here and it's with someone that has or is going to have 
so much love for you. Whoever this person is, look at this, is standing in their truth. Somebody has had some sort of epiphany moment, some sort of wake up moment here. Something is about to change for you and bring in all of your dreams. Wow, what a powerful reading. You're going to believe in yourself again. And maybe you've been denying something all along and now you have a go at it and you realize how much that is life changing. When you start getting out of your, your uh, comfort zone, your self-esteem increases, your self-confidence increases. All the time you keep yourself trapped in this illusion of what the world is. You can't expand, you can't grow. And therefore, if you keep yourself small like that, how can you expect the universe to bring you what it needs? It can't always come knocking on your door. Sometimes you have to put yourself out there. All right. Well, this is interesting. So I've got this coming out in reverse. Now, as you all know, I always start off my day with the deck up the right way. So if spirit decides they're going to throw something in in reverse, I'm all good with that. <laughs> that is the eight of pentacles in reverse. So I feel like I'm saying to some of you, you've done the work that's required because you're standing in the power of self-love. This is definitely an energy of completion. So if you're wondering where that cycle's completing, you've completed. You're about to step into this energy. Really, really beautiful here. Wow. Queen of Swords. Speaking up, wielding that truth, understanding who you are, feeling very confident in your own skin. You know, the Queen of Swords can sometimes talk about coming from a logical and strategic place rather than a heart space. And many of us have learned that we have to come from the heart space, which means that we use the heart space when we should be using this energy. And I hear it all the time. Do everything with your heart. Go after things with your heart. Well, sometimes that just doesn't work. Sometimes you have to be discerning. Sometimes you have to get into this strategic energy. You have to see the world as it is. You have to observe your surroundings. Because not everything can be done with love. I bet for some of you, you've dealt with narcissistic people. Could you do that with love? <laughs> There's a lot more of those in the world where that one came from. So I feel like here you're standing in your power. You're understanding how to wield that sword. You're cutting out things that no longer serve you and you're standing your ground and making decisions based in your intellect rather than your heart. And those sort of things are, I'm not going to close down my heart space, but what I will do is I will use my brain in this circumstance and I will do it from a place of experience and knowledge rather than the place of vulnerability. And that is what we're learning to do. Learning when our heart space needs to be open and when we use, need to use our intellect. Such an important part of the journey. All right, let's have a look at an oracle card. Oh, I have the card of conflict coming out, which is quite interesting. I'm not sure that I've ever read that, but I'm going to read it and I'm going to pull another one because discovery. Oh, I like it. I like it a lot. All right, let's look at conflict first. That's events. Okay, is there a difficult situation going on in your daily life? Perhaps your workload has increased to stressful levels. Perhaps a family member is ill or acting out. You're lost at sea in the middle of a storm you can't control and high emotions are tossing you around. You may have to step outside of the maelstrom to regain tranquility in your life. How incredibly good is that? This is exactly what I'm saying. Step out of your emotions and look at your life as the observer. Is it the life you really want to lead or are you so stuck in your emotions and your emotional surroundings that you've lost sight of who you are in the storm? 
Some of the unrest could be with yourself. Are you making a situation worse through an attitude of fear and powerlessness? You must stand in your power and take steps to create a calmer approach. Express what you need to express and vent your feelings in your journal. Make decisions that honour you and consciously create some joy in each day. The storm will pass and you will be floating on a peaceful sea again. Sometimes emotions aren't our best friend. All right, so we have discovery. Oop, I just went past it too. And there it is. I went past it twice, believe it or not. <laughs> Unexpected happy developments. A man is mining for gold. He has been panning and searching for quite some time, but despite his diligent work, he has not found the treasure that has lain beyond his reach until now. Wow, you're about to discover something big time. Get ready. A time of discovery is opening up for you. New ideas and new energy will help to bring forth a goal you've been working on. Although there may be more painstaking work involved, this card is telling you that a positive resolution is at hand. Keep your eyes and your mind open for you may actually stumble on an unexpected discovery or idea that brings great value to your life. This is what this is coming through for. Now I understand. Many options can lead you in exciting directions. You may be introduced to someone who resonates with your heart. A job offer may come your way. You may come across a book, video or spiritual practice that is helpful in your daily life or business. This is a very auspicious time. New ideas, information and exciting new connections are vibrating all around you. A gold mine of discovery awaits. I feel like for some of you here, it's some sort of when I say communication, I really feel that it is something around you that enlightens you or awakens you to some potential in yourself. So I'll leave you with that fabulous reading. Thank you.